Good morning, Robert Scribbler. It is October 2nd, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about some bad policy by the Trump administration with regards to climate change. But what I'm also gonna talk about is the underlying philosophy that is used to justify this bad policy. And I'm also gonna talk about how this underlying philosophy is not something new. It, it's something that has been around for a long time. But what is new about it is at this point in time, the philosophy is being promoted on a mass scale. And, and it can basically be boiled down to climate doomerism, climate defeatism, climate nihilism, or just nihilism in general, or, or a cynical worldview that tends to believe that any positive action is futile. And, and, and in my opinion, this view is, is both dra is as draconian and, 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 and is terrible at its root and, and is the philosophy of, of people who have given up on benevolence and, and a benevolent future and, and apparently have this cynical attitude of just get what you can, when you can, uh, it doesn't matter, we're all screwed in the end. This philosophy is, is a very destructive philosophy. Unfortunately, many people operate under this philosophy and in order to overcome the crisis of climate change and, and set a path where human civilization and human beings, human individuals can get out, can escape, then not only are we going to have to do the right things, but we're going to have to overcome those who have, have basically given up and decided it's just all for me. We're going to have to learn how to, to outflank them and, and, and overcome and, and overwhelm what is, a, a, at its heart, a very dark philosophy and, 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 and a heart of darkness at, at, at the heart of, of parts of humankind that in a way are generating a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. So I'd just like to, before I get into an article by the Washington Post and, and some actions by the Trump administration, I'd like to call your attention to the statement by Stefan Ramsdorf from a few days ago in which he says, defeatism is the new denial, a convenient excuse to do nothing. Let's put up a great fight against global warming. Whether we win or lose, this is a matter of dignity and self-respect. And I, I, I agree with this statement, but I, I just want to go forward one step more. That believing in the potential for a benevolent human civilization and working for that is an essential good. And if you give up on that, you, you may as well just be an orc serving Sauron. I, you may as well just swear your allegiance to the Dark Lords of History because that's where you are. All right, so, so I just want to call your attention to a Washington Post article talking about how the Trump administration sees the a, a warming of, of seven degrees Fahrenheit or, or four degrees Celsius by the end of the century as inevitable. As, as something that you can't change, so why try to change that? Uh, according to the Washington Post, I'm just going to read a, a couple quotes from here. Last month, deep in a 500-page environmental impact statement, the Trump administ administration made a startling assumption. On its current course, the planet will warm a disastrous seven degrees by the end of this set century. A rise of 70 degrees Fahrenheit or about 4 degrees Celsius compared with pre-industrial levels would be catastrophic, according to scientists. Coral reefs would dissolve, 
in increasingly acidic oceans, parts of Manhattan and Miami would be underwater. Extreme heat waves would routinely smother parts of the globe. And I'm just going to add that the, the intense storms that we see now would be mild by comparison to the, the peak intensity of storms that we would see in a 4C world. The, the ocean impacts, not just acidification, but reduced oxygen content would be further compounded. The, the droughts and wildfires that we see now would be mild by comparison. A, a four degrees Celsius world is, is a very dangerous and destructive world. Right now, we're living in a world that is one to 1.2 degrees Celsius above 19th century averages. And we're already seeing never before seen extreme events. Just think about that and, and, and think about another three degrees on top of that. And, and that's what you're talking about. You're talking about a world that, that, is, that is devastating. So uh, according to the Washington Post, the administration did not offer this dire forecast premised on the idea that the world would fail to cut its greenhouse gas emissions as part of an argument to combat climate change. Just the opposite. The analysis assumes the planet's fate is already sealed. And then following on, the Trump administration then used this doomer worldview, this, this fallacious argument that, that this terrible future is already set in stone to say, well, we might as well just cut emissions uh, standards for vehicles, meaning that you know, we might as well just burn all the fossil fuels and, you know, we're already doomed. So, so, so when you hear this humorous argument from people like Guy McPherson, for example, I, I want you to think about what it feeds into. It, it, it feeds into apathy and, and, and a failure to respond and a false view that we can't respond and a total lack of responsibility in general that that is malevolent and, and it feeds into those like Trump and, and that, that basically just want to live for the now and loot and pillage the resources of our earth system and not set aside anything for even their own future the future of their children the future of the rest of us so it's kind of a, a slash and burn mentality that has terrible negative consequences. So, so just to close, just to close on, on this set of statements, the path of fossil fuel burning, continued fossil fuel burning, it is essentially a global holocaust. It, it, it's, it's a mass extinction, a, a, a human civilization collapse driver, a, a mass loss of life driver, a mass loss of, loss of wealth driver, a mass displacement driver. And in the end, Trump and many Republicans and, and many others who adhere to this philosophy of no, nothing can be done, let's just all be apathetic, support it. If you're in that camp, you are supporting systemic harm on a mass scale. And, and, and you can't call yourself a moral individual. The words turn back, oh man, could not have been spelled more clearly. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.